Howdy folks, it's Not Jay with Not Jay's Tabletop Gaming, and this video brings us to the Cold War. We're taking a look at Lock and Load Publishing's World at War 85, and we're going to start with looking at some of the armored fighting vehicles and the counters that represent them. So let's go ahead and get going. Here we have a unit counter for an M1 Abrams, as you can see here by the unit name. Uh, on the left uh, top, you've got the armor uh, piercing rating. It gives you the range in hexes. It gives you the firepower, that's the number of dice you're needing to roll, and then your uh, number to hit on a D6. So this uh, tank can fire up to 11 hexes, using four dice, looking for fives to hit. Uh, so, reason why you're rolling four dice is because that's the number of tanks in a platoon. Uh, the, I mean, it's you, in, a sta in the standard uh, doctrine, the United States Army puts four M1 Abrams into a platoon, so you've got four there. And then the five is representative of the, the power that on an M1 Abrams, uh, that you get with that 105 millimeter rifled cannon. So when we take a look at the M1A1 here in just a second, you'll see the difference. Over here is your high explosive firepower. It's range of five. Uh, its firepower is three, and its to hit is uh, five as well. So uh, not as not as far. It doesn't give you as uh, long a range. And that's really what you're looking at is your uh, hitting on uh, soft vehicles, as it were. So uh, if it's not armored, such as a Jeep or a truck, you'll be firing this instead. Down lower left, you've got your armor uh, value and your to uh, save number so you're gonna be rolling four dice needing fives to save because it's a pretty well armored vehicle uh, and then your movement that's how many uh, movement points you get in hexes and then your assault so if you're going up against infantry or you know in fact other tanks you're in this particular instance you're rolling a firepower of two two dice needing fours to hit now you'll notice that the color band is uh, full color. It's not until you reduce it that you get to, uh, this shows you that it's reduced by being half white and half color of that particular unit. Uh, and when it does get reduced, you do see that your firepower does change. You go from four dice to three dice and your high explosive goes from three dice to two dice. Your armor remains the same, and but your assault value uh, is reduced. So that's what happens when a platoon takes damage. It does not become as combat effective. So let's go ahead and take a look at that compared to the M1A1. Bring the M1A1 in here. As you can see, the M1A1, which has got a 120 millimeter smoothbore gun, built by the Germans and provided to the United States Army. It's got a bit longer range at 14 uh, hexes. It uh, has the same number of dice being rolled, but it hits a whole lot harder. You're needing a three to hit instead of a five. And your high explosive, it's gonna have a better range, but it's gonna have the same number of dice and the same number of, same to hit number. There's not much difference armor-wise between the M1 and the M1A1, so your armor uh, and armor save are going to be the same as well as your assault, and it's got the same speed. Now you may be asking, what's that little orange triangle? And that little orange triangle is telling you that it's got composite or reactive armor. And that's important here and here. That's important when uh, dealing with certain effects uh, when being fired at. So that's your M1A1 and the, uh, your M1 and your M1A1 Abrams, uh, giving you a, a brief description of what each uh, counter gives the information on. 
So what about the Soviets? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the T-64. The T-64 has got a range of 12. It only has a firepower of three because they only have three tanks in their platoon. So three dice being rolled, needing fours, because it's, if I remember correctly, the T-64 has got 125 millimeter smooth bore. So it, it packs a pretty good punch. It's high explosive is six, uh, six hexes with, uh, again, uh, three dice and giving it a five to hit. Its armor is not as good as the M1. It's got three dice needing sixes to save and its assault is the same with two dice needing fours. Same speed at six hexes. When the T-64 reduces, we go from three dice down to two dice on both of them, and, but everything else except for your assault goes down to one and four. So that's your T-64. Let's go ahead and uh, compare that to the T-80. When we look at the T-80, it's got the same, it's got the same range. It's got the same number of dice rolled. It's got the same number to hit because it's the same gun. So since it's the same gun, 120 millimeters, 125 millimeters uh, smooth bore, these numbers are going to be the same. Same with your high explosive number. What makes the T-80 different is right here. It's better armored. It's, it's harder to kill. Uh, it takes, it gives you four dice with uh, needing a five to save compared to the three dice needing the six to save. And what happens when we reduce the T-80? Same thing that happened to the T-64. We reduce down to two dice and two dice, but your armor stays the same at four dice being fives to save. So there you have it. That's uh, the two, two tanks from each side, giving you an idea of what you're needing to roll to make hits, roll to save, etc. We'll go ahead and take a look at other vehicles here and looking at uh, APCs and see how they stack up. Here is the M113 United States Army armored personnel carrier. You'll note that it does not have armor piercing rating at all because it doesn't have a armor piercing uh, capable weapon. It does have uh, HE rating, which is due to its 50 caliber. It's got a two hex range, one die needing a five to hit. It is armored, but barely. Uh, it, this six here tells you that you get to roll one D6. And if you roll a six on it, it saves against a hit. It's got six uh, movement uh, points of six, and it's got an assault value of one die of five. Now, the green backing on that M1, on the, on the M113 tells you that it is a non-amphibious ground transport. Uh, so right here behind the movement point value, that is telling you that it cannot cross rivers or lakes or any type of body of water unless it's considered fordable. Uh, so that is a you know non-amphibious vehicle. The M113A cab is slightly better. It is got a little bit more uh, weapons on it. It's still only two uh, hexes, but now you're rolling three dice needing five. So a little bit heavier armament because it's got a couple more machine guns on the top of it. It still has that uh, saving of six. Red triangle is telling you that it is can be used as a recon, a reconnaissance unit. Uh, some people like to call them recce units. Uh, that and that goes into play in the game as well. Uh, we'll, and we'll we'll dive into that a little bit more uh, deeply. We replaced the M113 A cab with the M3 Bradley cavalry fighting vehicle, and you can see that it has 
an anti-armor rating. 13 hexes, 4 dice, needing 4s to hit. It's, its high explosive rating is 4 um, hexes, needing 3 dice at 5 as well. It's got that same 6 single die for uh, 6 to save. And its assault value is a little better at 3 dice, needing 4s. MP of 6. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Soviet BTR-60. Again, much like the M113 for the Americans, the Soviet BTR-60 does not have any anti-armor capabilities. Uh, it does have a uh, high explosive. Uh, that's going to be a, again, a distance of two hexes, one die and fives. That's going to be the 12.5 millimeter Dishka uh, machine gun on the top. Again, it's got a, a single die, six up save. Now, you'll notice that this six is blue on one side, green on the other. That's telling us it's got an amphibious ground transport. So this one can cross rivers, streams, lakes, etc. Again, its assault value is only one, in, uh, one die, uh, needing a five to hit. Let's take a look and compare that to the BMP-1. The BMP-1's got a little bit better capability. That's got 11 range, three dice needing fours to hit, and it's got that recce triangle that gives you some anti-tank capabilities, gives you reconnaissance abilities. It's uh, HE is three uh, hexes, two dice needing fives to hit and the it's got a five up save so it's got a little bit better armor even than the uh, m3 bradley it is also um, amphibious as well as the assault of one die needing a four to hit and there's a couple of the different vehicles that aren't tanks that you'll find on the battlefield. So there you have it, several of the armored fighting vehicles, the uh, Soviet T-64 and T-80, the BMP-1 and the BTR-60. We also took a look at the U.S. Army's M1, the M1A1, the M113, and the M3 Bradley. Uh, we'll have more of these uh, in the future. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of the other counters in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.